Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey, and welcome to a house tour camper style. So yeah, well, that made no sense. It's a camper tour. <laughs> um, this is actually a camper that I built that's kind of a recreation of one that my friend bought in real life. But yeah, there is, this is a before and after video. So yeah, this is, this is a trailer as is now, which kind of looks a lot like like I said, like the one that my friend built, definitely um, I tried to copy it exactly, which was a little bit hard because, oh my gosh, it, have you ever tried to build a camper in The Sims 3? Not very easy, but I did kind of build it on this foundation so that it looks like it's sitting on wheels and not um, not on blocks because it's a camper, not not like a mobile home. Um, yeah, see, there's a little wheel down there. I don't know. It looks funny, but whatever. I did it. I did it. And <laughs> trees, trees. Anyways, back to the front of the camper. There is a cool little pond back here that just happened to be here, um, which, you know what, never mind, pay no attention to that, because when I show you the after, it's actually in a different lot, so it, that probably won't be there. But this part, um, this part is the 50s house. Whoa, weird glitch. Much better. Okay, this is the 50s house I built um, for my friend Ina. So this is her, her sim self standing out here. And since the camper is also very 50s inspired, oh, there's two mailboxes. Don't mind that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Since the camper is 50 styled and this house is 50 styled, I just put it in the backyard. But yeah, here's here's a better shot of Ina and her hubby, Jordan. These are my friends in Sweden as Sims. And gosh, she still looks like a Stepford wife. I will make sure to link that video in the description below if you want to check out the house tour of this house. But yes, back, back to the trailer. Camper, 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 not trailer, camper. Wow, enough of that weirdly awkward intro. Let's just go ahead and go inside. Through the front door, through the front door, through the only door, because it's a camper. All right, this is going to be, I guess, pretty short because it's pretty small. So anyways, to the left, as soon as you come in, we have our little mini kitchen. So it is basically just a stove, a, a sink, and uh, in the actual camper, it's not really a stove. I think it's just like a burner, but it does have the steel backsplash, which I thought was really cool, actually. And then over on the side is kind of um, the couches that also fold out into a bed. And then over right across from the kitchen is the fridge and um, some some storage and then back here is just a tiny little storage case as well or I guess a dresser and then through the store is the bathroom which I'll show you in just a second and then over to the right hand side as soon as you come in from the door there is a table which folds down like the table part actually comes down uh, in between the two benches and it folds out into a bed. So I thought that was really cool. Of course, we got a couple windows over here. And then this part, I actually just imagined myself. I couldn't tell from the photos. Um, I thought it was an empty space. So I built a little computer area, but in my friend's actual camper, this is just more storage. It's like the bathroom extended and storage. Um, but yeah, through the store is a little tiny bathroom and I'm going to have to go aerial because it, it, it really is tiny. There you go. It's a shoebox of a bathroom. There is a sink on the left and a toilet on the right. And I guess there is like a drain in the middle of the floor. So you can attach a hose to the sink and shower right in here. I, I, that's weird. I put carpet in here. It's supposed to look more like plastic tiling or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to actually redo this trailer remodeled with uh, what I think would look best and fit best. So I am going to, with the magic of editing, come back in a second and show you the remodel of the camper. And I think I called it a trailer again. It is a camper, not a trailer. I think there's a difference. I have no idea what I'm talking about, as always. <laughs> All right, so here it is redone. I completely redid the front. Um, I added a couple of lounge chairs, definitely still kept it with the 50s theme. There is a little table with some lemonade, a barbecue grill, um, a tiny little pond with some baby flamingos, and this tree chair, egg chair, swing thingy that I love. <laughs> Absolutely love it. And you can already see inside it's like a pink and red theme. So let's go ahead and go inside. Through the remodeled front door, through the remodeled front door, through the remodeled front door, and we're inside. And that's a mirror. 
So I'm going to quickly go to the left. Anyways, here's that same door into the bathroom. And now the kitchen is red and black instead of that green color, which was still pretty freaking awesome. Um, I kept the backsplash. I really like that steel backsplash. I thought it looked amazing and just spruce things up a little bit. Um, we still have the cabinets on top. And then over here where we have the fridge, I also added some storage because when you live in a camper, you definitely need a lot of storage. You can never have too much storage. All right, so I added a room divider and instead of having like the couch that folds down into a bed, I just kind of added a bed so you can imagine it folds out into this. Um, again, <laughs> pink and red and I added some black and white. I decided that this like checkerboard floor would look really cool in here. And then I did keep the storage unit on the side, just painted it red and added a, a little picture to make it look more homey and some wallpaper back here as well. So of course that screen divider gives a little bit of privacy and then on the other side of the camper there is another screen divider because I wanted to keep it for two sims you could actually fit two sims comfortably in here um, just kind of redid the desk area added some flowers and a poster on the wall just some cute little touches um, just to make it look more homey and have more storage of course so I added these cabinets up here as well and then this is my favorite part I redid the table and the chairs in pink and red and added a beautiful little sunflower vase vase of sunflowers on top so again this still can transform into a bed we're pretending because that's what happens in real life but in the sims it's just a little couch seating and I have no idea if a sim could even sit in there because I use move objects to like squeeze it all together um but anyways there is uh the bathroom still of course so let's go into aerial mode so I can show you that and here's the bathroom redone. So I added a tile flooring instead. I also added this little shelf with some toiletries and then just a little potted plant flower thingy uh, for some decoration. But there it is, the cute little bathroom. And that is basically it. I'm going to do an aerial shot so you can kind of see all of it. There you go. Just a tiny little camper. It's really cute. Um, again, I put it in the back of the 50s house that I made, but you could totally tear down the 50s house and just make maybe even a couple more campers and just have it a, like, like a little trailer park trailer park rv park camper park oh gosh guys i'm an idiot <laughs> but anyways i hope you enjoy this i hope you like it i'm gonna do some screenshots so you can see all of this better and yeah i hope you download it and use it for your sims and thank you so much for watching i will have the links to download and everything in the description below guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss my next video and i will see you next time have a wonderful wonderful day bye <laughs>